everyone. I'm Jean Miller Trilson, and I'm the CEO and co founder of Dog Patch Technology, the creators of Flower. And right over there is uh, my CTO and co founder, Palmer Trilson. And I'm here to tell you a little bit about how we think Flower can help the global refugee crisis in a different way <laughs> than rise. <laughs> so, so we know the numbers. Um, we're planning on in welcoming 85,000 refugees into the U.S. this year. This is frustrating for me. That number should be higher. And why? It's because the refugee crisis is a story that's personal in a different way. My mother was born on the side of a mountain between China and Vietnam as her parents were escaping civil war from China. Decades later, she found herself leaving Vietnam with my father and sponsoring all of our family over to the US. At some point, I got to live with all of my cousins. <laughs> and it's because of this story that I asked, how can I help? How can I change this? So what I realized was this question, how can I help? is something that we ask at Flower all the time. And we built an app for support, a uh, support platform to help friends and family better support each other, help you, help others. We wanted to answer that question quickly, how can I help? What we realized is that we built a platform that was this combination of a wedding registry a way to be able to list things you need and get help, as well as a volunteer board, a way to offer help and your superpowers before anyone has to ask. What we realized was we could use this platform to help connect refugees that come into our community with the communities here. So we want to change it from here. We've been speaking to the Legal Aid Foundation in LA, um, and, um, and we were able to talk to the Refugee Forum, we'll talk to them more. We realize that our goals overlap, that we want to build community, we want to build a support system to help refugees integrate into their new communities, we have that platform. We want to connect the givers in the US to those that are coming in and connect them to the global refugee crisis at large so that we can incite real change. So we can change that number and increase that number from 85,000 on up. And we want to be able to, with FLOWER, empower individuals, to be able to empower the refugees with resilience. One of the things that the folks at the um, Legal Aid Foundation in LA had mentioned to us was how much the refugees, once they arrived, wanted to help, right? They wanted to, through their through their crisis, through what they went through, they wanted to empower others and, and help the next person coming in. This is how we think it may work. We've been talking to organizations, and we want to be able to take a deeper look at how easy it might be, and make it as easy as possible for them to be able to create flowers on our platform for families as they come in, and connect them to the community in which they're arriving so that individuals in the community can provide goods and services directly to the family. It's not just going to an organization. They don't, they don't know where it's going to go. You know, everybody has their doubts. They know the family. This is the family that's arriving in their neighborhood. How can they help? Here's a zoomed in version. Um, a Mary just arrived in her community. She had to leave all of her belongings. This is just a brief setup of what you can do in Flower. And also, by the way, I'm showing you version two. This is coming out in the next few weeks. So um, version one is in the app store now. Um, you can offer meals. If you can't make it yourself, you can schedule a delivery. Um, once you offer, you'll get more details about restrictions and anything that you might need in order to provide a meal. Um, as well as you can offer your superpower. And so we um, had put in translation as a superpower. That's one of the biggest things that these that the intake organizations also cited that they needed. Um, being able to basically manage the volunteers and those that want to help and connect them to real families. 
We just launched in March. So this is some early data. Um, people want to give. They've been giving five times more than they asked for help. Because, by the way, we, we hate asking for help. And for every flower, people have added, on average, three different friends to help contribute. This is how we even further engage our community. We're looking to raise 50K in order to conduct user research interviews and be able to pilot with um, intake refugee organizations in the US um, and design and develop any additional tools as needed. Um, as many other founders know, you, you know you'll get there and you, you realize you'll need to change things. So we wanted to build that in. And I'll leave you with a quote with, um, from Pope Francis. He actually said it really correctly. We must not be taken aback by their numbers, but rather view them as persons. This is a way where we get to connect with Flower, the stories of refugees and this global crisis to each and every one of us. Work with us. We're looking for um, more organizations to partner with in order to pilot, pilot this program um, and to do more research together and, um, and be able to make some change. Thank you. Questions? Um, so I was curious. Uh, I saw there was this second option where you could say, instead of cooking, I could order food. Mm -hmm. So can you do that anonymously and just make sure the food arrives? Um, uh, how does that work? Is it like how do you order the food and get it delivered and be sure that it's delivered to the person? Well, so our plan is, so we're working with partners now in order to um, have food delivery and we want to be able to keep it, um, keep privacy settings as well. So somebody can go in and be able to offer a meal and then the receiver will go in and put in their address and it's all on our end, what their address is and privacy. And if they want somebody to come over and bring over food, then we actually have a system to be able to coordinate with each other. So you get a confirmation on both ends. It gets to be pushed out to your respective calendars as well. And then the individuals can coordinate if they want to meet in person. But yes, we've been looking at different ways to be able to keep it anonymous, be able to keep personal information like addresses um, on our side. All right, pretty cool. Other questions? Could you walk me through the spectrum that you have on the screen? It seems to me there's a mixture of uh, supports and, and features, maybe. Mm -hmm. I, but I may be uh, misinterpreting some of them. <laughs> it's okay. When um, when it came to the um, the screens that I showed you, I only I only showed you a few things. You can you can limit how many things you want to have, what what you need and what you want to offer. But the spectrum was a way for us to show that there are many ways that people can help. And, and it's all about in what way are we available. So on this side, we can, you know, on, and on Flower, you can do this as well. You can help in a text message and a video and photo. I didn't demonstrate those necessarily. Um, but you can also help by being there with foods, rides, and gifts, and superpowers. So we built this, um, actually built Flower originally as a broader support app um, covering use cases like cancer diagnoses and becoming a new parent. So there are different things that you need at different times of life and in different crises. And we wanted to do something more than a sad emoji on Facebook. <laughs> right? We wanted to be able to give people the power to give in whatever way. So if you can't bring a meal or make a meal, you can send a message of support. Um, or you can send your superpower of translation. Um, sometimes superpowers are also just waiting there, being there um, with somebody. Um, and keeping them company, right? So we realized that um, I, you know, we we know about support. We did a lot of research at, when it came to people that need it, as well as the friends and family around them, the communities that want to better support them. Other questions? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I, I try to find your app. And I keep getting bought like, what, what, what do I look for? <laughs> that is the tricky bit about being named Flower. <laughs> so, if you search for Flower app, um, all one word, you should be able to find it. Um, we are on I, flower or flowerapp.com. You can get the link. The link will send you to um, to the iTunes store. We're on iOS now. In the next coming weeks, you'll see this, the version two, as well as you'll see us on. Um, we're we're rolling out the uh, the web version as well. 
what, what's your profit model? How do you be sustainable? So we take um, we take a fee off of every purchase that is made. So with our partners, you just add it to my cost. It doesn't get added actually. Um, a lot of the partners already have um, basically different affiliate models, um, or ones that we've worked out with them specifically. Um, and and so actually, you would pay the price that you normally pay for for a meal um, or a ride or whatever it may be, um, and then um, we work with the partner. We're hoping to actually develop more add-ons and um, additions for flour as well. So, um, I like that you have that address to protect the um, refugees. I'm curious, what do you do for vetting your volunteers? Let's say they're going to be the ones to support, so that you can make sure that it's somebody who truly has a good motive and, and isn't going to take advantage and misuse the app. Absolutely, that's actually part of our part of what what we spoke about with um, LAFLA. Um, legal aid. We wanted to talk about different ways of vetting. Um, wanted to be able to do the user research because um, how they're doing it now, working with how they're doing it now, and not adding to their workload as well. You know, um, they're overworked and underpaid, right? And understaffed. So, however, we can make it bring them as much support um, as possible and bring it in. It's actually the whole idea of the of flower is the many to one communication and be able to bring that support. So. Yes, I don't know the answer to that offhand, but we want to be able to work with organizations to be able to um, to be able to vet that and, and make it really clear and um, and safe for everybody. Any last questions? Great. Thank you very much. Thank you.